Are you go gate? <laughs> oh. I didn't quite understand that. that, but hello everyone. How you doing? Hello and welcome to my let's play of GMing D D. Today on episode twenty seven, I guess. Uh twenty six. I Fuck. mix one dislike for everyone who wants me to stop making that joke. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, do we have any dislikes on our videos? I have no clue. I want to know if any of our 25 subscribers have found themselves uh, dis disheartened uh, by any of our episodes. If we can change this at all, I'd be most happy to... Put an amount of effort in, I guess. Look, if we offended you in any of our videos, please comment below, and we'll respond to that however we deem is necessary. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, where I'm the not fuck are apologize, we? First and foremost, right now I'm saying it here. I'm not apologizing. J Jake, I was I just gonna. Did anything wrong yet? So. Okay. Exactly. I think I got my breath. I think I'm good. Yeah, he got the wind knocked out of you there for a second. Yep. Uh, stand. <laughs> oh, hey, Vivi. Yes. Do you want to come with us and kill the Naga and then maybe go on more adventures afterwards? Wait, are you in front? Uh, <gasps> she just on? starts hopping up and down. There you are. Yay, more stabby. <laughs> Jacob looks over at the knight and goes all like, uh, what? Are you coming here to stop the Naga yourself, or...? Yes, but I failed horribly and was captured. Well, I mean, as long as you can admit it. I've been here for six months eating bread. I'd like to leave now. Oh, yeah, that sounds horrible. Hey, we got this guy who's really awesome when it comes to food. He's Fier. You can end up uh, seeing him in our airship if you like. What the hell is an airship? Sh you cannot sail the clouds. Yeah, Apparently you can, airship. actually. God, I must have been in there longer than I thought. Yeah, six months is a long time. What about, you, what about you, little fairy lady? Do you want to come with us? <laughs> she comes out holding a skeleton arm. See, I'll come for a, one meal. Alrighty. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have some friends. <laughs> okay. Fr wait, we have some friends? You walk out that door and we got more friends than just this. We've just got a small army that's going to fight a Naga, I guess. <sighs> well, I mean, we'll see. Okay, I I'm waiting for everyone to just leave. Yep, Jacob's gonna head on outside and he's like, So, Sir Knight, what, what order are you from? Or do you have an order? Hmm? Oh, I came at the behest of my uh, my lord. Your lord? Okay, yes. your lord? Lord Skyglint. <laughs> <laughs> Skyglint? Yes! Like, oh, that's a nice uh, name for a lord. Yes, it is! I, I, I just gotta put this plug in there. So for those of you who don't know who Skyglint is, Lord Skyglint for that matter, please check out Wreckage, not Wreckage, Ashes of the <laughs> Old World. And, uh, it's like, I watched over the Wreckage series again and I heard no reference to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, go, go to Ashes of the Old World. You'll, you'll know who Skyglint is. <laughs> I mean, I didn't necessarily want to come in here specifically, but... It happened. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, uh, I mean, we can, uh... Goodness, yeah. he must think I'm dead now. Probably. I mean, most people would tend to think that way if their companions or whoever they hired is gone for six months. Hmm. Damn. I should probably That's... check up on him. Perhaps he has died since I've been in there, too. Shit, that me me a crap night. Well, to be fair, I mean, uh, to be fair, there's not really a whole lot he could have done. I could have been there to stab the cause. 
But he sent you out, therefore it's his fault, isn't it? No! The Lord is never wrong. Fair enough. So should, should we go meet up with Bubbles and then go through one of the doors? Speaking Agreed. of, are those, are those doors trapped? Gesturing to the one there in by extension, the one at the end of the other hallway. Are you asking any of the trick or are you asking our new friends? I'm asking if they know. Oh yeah, that thing's horribly trapped. Great. Like the ceiling falls down on your head with spikes. Great. Jacob looks over at them all and is like, well, I mean, we're going to head on over to the other side real quick. Okay. Should all we right. actually we just go through the same door, or should we go through both doors to see if we can surround whatever's on the other side? I'd say the same door, just so we could be able to coordinate a little better, but... There's yeah, also no. stuff we need to see on the other side. Oh, that's true. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Oh, hey, you guys can come with so you can see your other kobold friends. Can Yay! I haven't been on to the other side of this building in years! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. A new experience and, or something. Anyway, I guess we all go over to the other side. <laughs> sure. Can, can Julebri be on the other side at this point? Um, sure. If you want to grab her. Hi, sis. Right. We brought the other kobolds and some new friends. Let's grab new friends. Uh, uh, uh. Jacob, uh, Jacob walks over and is like, hey, Bubbles. Don't, don't forget VV Gate. Yeah. I was individually grabbing all these fucking pogs. Looking so around. as it turns... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. As it turns out, the kobolds are a bit terrified to go through the door. I mean, understandable. What's on the other side of that door, specifically? Well, there's this hallway... And then you take a a, um, a right, and then there's these two pits of fire that are decorative in the center, and then there's the naga. <clears throat> what about these doors here? Oh, there's like living quarters in a bathroom. Oh, okay. Is anyone living in there? Um, I think Cherry's in there. Could have used Cherry. the bathroom during that little short break that we took. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if anyone wants to go to the bathroom, <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna. Hello. All right. I'm ah! going to the bathroom. Intruder. <laughs> We're no, here wait. to meet up the Naga. <laughs> you, you guys want to meet up with the other kobolds outside? What? They haven't been killed by intruder? No, we're we're <laughs> friends. Okay, let's get checked out. Revolution! <laughs> <laughs> I like how they cut themselves off, too. Like, Revolution! Are, are like, any of these chests mimics, do you know? No. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Goes over to the shield. <laughs> he, he, I hope not. Yeah, that is an actual physical shield. Jacob's like, can I have this? Can I use this? Okay, I guess. Slips it on. That feels so much better. <laughs> That's okay. That's My left weird. arm feels significantly less sore now. I'm gonna check the chests. Check me some chests. Okay. Um. God, all right. At least ask for this stuff out of spite. Tries. Well, you open the chest, and it's mostly, like, little tiny clothing that would fit a kobold. Oh, okay. Are these the kobold quarters? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do I... Um, come to think of it. Hey, do any of you guys need new clothes? The kobolds, I mean. I don't think these would fit human form, shape, size things. Uh... This one who is just in just in a loincloth. Yeah, I could go for some. Aaron gets some of the kobold sized clothes and gives them, or he like just shows them where they are. Okay. He's free now. You have given him clothes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> you have given you have given Drabi a sock. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> Drabi is free now. <laughs> I only made the reference because I saw it the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Okay. Okay, I guess we should see about disabling those ceiling crush traps, I guess. I'm really hoping there's no water elemental in where I'm go uh, I've gone. Oh, that would be really bad. <laughs> it really <laughs> would be. Okay. Uh you notice when you go in there, it is a bathroom. There's various bathroom stuff in there. That's probably more than that token thing I've put there. Great. I take a piss in the bathroom. Congratulations, you've relieved yourself, I guess. There's a piss <laughs> element. <laughs> Jacob's looking over at all. The, all, all the kobolds, <clears throat> and Jacob's going around to all the different kobolds and is making sure everyone's looking good, looking all right. He's like, okay, guys, I understand that you're scared of the Naga, and I'm not going to ask you to follow me or okay. us. I'm not going <laughs> to ask you to follow us. Okay. Your help has been appreciated at this point, and we thank you very much for all that you've done. Yay! That's like, a rock at it. Yeah. All right. He's like, uh, he's like, though, uh, if you did decide, uh, uh, though, I'm going to let you know something over here, and he's going to go ahead and Jacob is going to go ahead and attempt to help the confidence of the kobolds a little bit. The kobold of offense. All right. He's gonna try and he's gonna he's gonna try and rally the kobolds to let them know that yeah they did good and that you, they can uh, uh, that they can stand proud that they're gonna help us defeat the naga even if they don't directly fight it. Put the bold in kobold. Exactly. Also, Aaron's gonna try and ask him if anyone knows like the naga's secret weaknesses or something if it has any. <laughs> uh, shit, does it? Putting the bold and kobold. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> if I might roll that? Um. Sure. Wow, really? They, they feel a little better. But they're like, still terrified to go in that room. It's like Jacob's. I mean, I don't expect them to follow us because honestly, they're not really going to. They're just going to. No offense they, to them, but they're going to be in the way. You know, they might die instantaneously the minute you bring them in the room. Nice. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Ar that's why Aaron's sticking to asking for weaknesses, so they can help without helping. Uh, okay. Uh, let me check if they know. Sure. Um, I, I hear that to prevent it from coming back to life again, you make it a zombie. So by bringing it back as a zombie, it doesn't come back to life normally? Yay. Uh, does anyone know how to make zombies? <laughs> Jacob just kind of looks all around awkwardly. He's like, not really my forte. I kill zombies. They don't bring them back. Okay, so at this point... Is washing hands in this time period a, n a normal standard thing if they don't know about yes. bacteria? Yes. Yeah, um, I imagine just washing your hands in general would be probably okay. considered like... Um, J just making sure, because I know that wasn't too big of a thing entirely. I know, but recently. like... I'm, 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 going, I'm going to say the hygiene is still a thing in, in this particular Good. fantasy land. So, Fathom washes his hands and goes outside. Hey, Fathom, do you know how to make, make zombies? <clears throat> Why? Because apparently if we make the Naga a zombie, it won't come back to life later. So we can have something even more terrifying be coming after us or something or roaming about Jacob's like well I mean if we if we make it a zombie and then kill it immediately afterwards then maybe the magic will be broken and it won't be able to come back at all or we don't 
kill it, but we incapacitate it, trapping it somewhere so it doesn't die and doesn't need to come back at all. I mean, that might work, yeah. I'd well, say... I think this is the most ranger solution that Fathom has given. Honestly, yeah, that's probably the best option at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, Besides, neat. if it comes back, what does it do? Like, does it just wake up again, or is it, like, born again somewhere? Way different than where it currently is. Yeah, it just appears suddenly in the middle of nowhere. I am born now! <clears throat> well, well, what I was more... <laughs> or Fathom was more wondering, is along the lines of, if it dies, does it do what vampires normally do and just heal and wake up? Or do they do like what phoenixes do and they completely get destroyed and are reborn? And if it's reborn, do they get reborn right where they died? Or do they come out as a baby somewhere else getting reincarnated. Well, we already established that they remember all the stuff that, that was before, so... Right, we know that much, but we don't know how they re uh, how they come back. So they could just be a little baby Naga that comes with all its memory of its defeat. For all I, we know. Hmm. Whatever the case may be, we're gonna. Uh, <laughs> whatever the case may be, one way or another, we're gonna have to fight it and defeat it. Yeah. Yeah. Stab it. What if <clears throat> once we've beaten it up, we like toss it into the water or something? Toss it into the water and do what? Like the ocean water. Right. And have what happen? So that if it comes back, it just drowns? That's... Assuming that it would come back that's... that way. But that's yeah. dark. <laughs> Jacob's uh, like, that's I mean, really dark. I mean, the Kraken could eat it if it was around. <laughs> well, we're going into the... We're just... <laughs> anyway, should we just move on in the dungeon now? <laughs> We're doing the whole Davy Jones locker and fish food. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the... Hey, hey Jillibri! <laughs> I'm letting Gate do Jillibri. Cause, uh... Okay. Yeah, what? Do you think there's still room for anyone that wants to leave this place to join in the airship. I mean, if we're not taking the villagers with us again, there should be plenty of room, right? Yeah, I mean, like, there's there's a shit ton of space. I mean, like, you mean some of them could probably share rooms, too. Yeah. Since most of you don't even, uh, don't even uh, go into the larger rooms with the double beds. One of the kobolds is like, <laughs> One of the kobolds is like, there's double beds. Those exist. <laughs> <laughs> the legends are true. So honestly, we can make doubly double the size of cuddle puddles. Honestly, oh Christ! They're not gonna Feather, can you just check the there? door for traps? Bubbles just in the back, kind of like seriously. Uh, <laughs> we know there's a trap. Well, check if you can disable it then. I'll try. <laughs> God damn it. Jacob's going to be like... So, uh, before, yeah. before they do that, I'm going to look up to see if I can identify how much of the ceiling would fall. Okay, uh, so... No. Nope. Would be like... Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. I like Jacob's nope. reaction. No. Nope. Alrighty. A nope. large chunk of the ceiling. Okay, so like that much. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> First off, before, mm -hmm. before I just start willy-nilly disabling a device, I'd like to 
investigate the device a little bit to see if there is a better trigger point so that if I'm disabled, like along the walls or something. So if I'm disabling it, I'm not right under the trap. Hmm. If there's not, there's not, and I'm just gonna have to suck it up and deal with it. I'm Wait, like there's there. like a few inches of clearance, but I don't think you'll be able to fit through that. All right. So well, anyway, Fedlam gonna do that. Sleight of hand, right? Or do I roll yes. that investigation thing? Uh, investigation, do you be able to see where the hell the trap's doing the thing? Uh, roll with with advantage because you know it's there. With advantage. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You 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 can basically see every nook and cranny of this trap within the door door knob stuff. All right. As a result, I'm gonna give you advantage on the ability to disarm it. Awesome. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> ooh rah, ooh rah, feather, you can do it. Yay! This is very stressful. Um, I'm not actually saying that, but you know. Oh, okay. I just imagine oh. Jacob doing that. Uh, Click. Do I think I is got that, it? Do I? Uh, is that a good yeah. click? Is that a bad click? I don't. It's a click. I don't know. Really one nervous. way to really find out. If it doesn't work, click. run into the bathroom. Hmm. Okay, so Gate, here's how yes. I'm going to play this. Okay. First, I'm going to mm -hmm. open the bathroom door. Okay, the bathroom door is open now. <laughs> All right, second. Smells like piss. I'm, well, yeah, there's no way to flush. Second, I'm going to push this door open while at the same time... Wait. Wait. Trying to acrobatics my way or athletics my way running through this door. Ta tosses you my lance, actually. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. So okay, so I you throw we... a lance at him. Okay, let's see if I can catch that lance. I'm going to try to catch the lance. Okay, sure. Uh, roll me acrobatics. If you want to catch it and not let it hit the ground. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Acrobatics? Yes. Look at you needlessly catching that with one hand. <sighs> That's it. Okay. Just a little twirl. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing this is to brace the, the wall, the door? No, it's to, no, it's to open the door from a, from a distance. I see what you're doing there. How far does the lance reach? Ten, Ten feet. feet. Okay. Thing is, I don't I can't turn a knob with the lance. Break door. <laughs> you realize I can't turn the knob with the lance, right? Fair point. <laughs> I've got a better use for this. How tall is the lance? Ten, you said 10 feet? 10 feet. All right. I'm going to try and stick this into the ground so that it's sticking vertically. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to lose my lance. <laughs> Fuck, you might. <laughs> okay, so you've stuck it into, like, one of the creases. Yes, and... <clears throat> I'm hoping that that's going to give me enough time to just dodge out of the way <laughs> if it does fall. I'm sorry okay. about you, Lance. I'll pay for a new one. It's not like this one was special, right? Not really. Okay, good. <laughs> and so I push and run. Okay. Uh, so you push, uh, the door opens, and uh, the ceiling falls down. And it slams right into the lance. Okay. Oh, do, do that's I have still... to still roll? Did the is... lance break? The, the lance actually helped you in that. Um, is the ceiling now blocking the door? It's it's 
Currently, uh, I assume he's stuck it right here, right? Yes. Okay, so the this end over here is actually touching the ground, but this end over here is stuck ten feet up. So, so able to it's walk. blocking the door, but not quite. You'd have to go to the side over here just to get in. We're, okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're like ten. We're five feet high. So how speak. how long will the lens keep that up? It's it's wobbling uh, quite intensely. Okay. All right, anyone? Run, 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 run. <laughs> anyone go, coming the, this way? I want to try something stupid here. Okay. It's probably not going to work, but I still want to try it. You can try it. I'm going to take out the Mimic Warhammer. Oh? And slam it into the wall I'm standing in front of. Oh, I forgot about the thing. Um, so, like, to try to break through it, or... Try to break through it. <laughs> sure, give me a roll. Uh... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Clang. I don't know if I could miss a wall, but... <laughs> okay, that didn't work. <laughs> it's not about missing, it's about your ability to damage it. And yeah. that is not even slightly. Alright, so I, I run... I run in... Okay, uh, you're bringing Bubbles and Julibri with you? Because Snake I, Lady yep. is coming. I, I almost imagine that it might end up falling uh, before so. stuff. Uh, well, well, Anyone like, else coming? Hmm. I feel like... Heck it. Oh, boy. Okay. So is the, uh, the knights just going to go onto the airship? Probably. He's hungry. Yeah, <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah, he was... Uh, he was <laughs> the knight gets here. to the airship, sees a gargoyle go guarding it, like, what the f***? <laughs> okay, so it's all right. You just come on in. All right. So what you have with you is your rogue, your wizard, and your newly acquired barber larbian and a Medusa. Yep. So, um, do you want that uh, lance? Uh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I don't exactly have the ability to ride a horse right now. Crack, crack. I have a way to hang on, hang on. I, oh, slam. Hmm? Never mind. I wanted to see something, but, uh... Oh, what'd you want to see? How tall is the... I just realized something in my inventory that would have helped with this. What? The movable rod. Oh, yeah, that would have fucking helped. <laughs> uh, well, the lance is destroyed now, I'm guessing, with that, uh... Um, that is particularly obliterated. Yeah. Okay, so we can't get out this way. Well, I guess we'll figure that out when we get there. Well, you yeah, let's at least to win out a hero. Oops. Yeah, still a little <laughs> sad. Your oh. friend Lance died holding up a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you a new one. If I manage to survive this. <clears throat> okay. Right, time to there was no mention of any traps in these areas, right? Uh, they just said about the ceiling one, which has been fallen down. I'm going to check for traps anyway, just just in case. Per perception. If this place has been riddled with traps, I am not taking a chance. Mm -hmm. Jacob's like, well, at the very least, I have an ability... At least I, I feel a little bit more comfortable with them holds up a shield. <laughs> it's not nearly as nice as Grandpa's, but... Okay. Um, All right. A little bit of too much info. This is not as good as Grandpa's shield. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, what you notice is that the rug looks very nice. The uh, walls are particularly nice tiled. Um, it's a pretty clean hallway. Didn't they men wasn't there like a wall of fire someone mentioned or something? I you do hear fire. I thought and they smell it. said that there was some sort of decoration or whatever. Hang on, guys. Um hang hang on. Fathom, fathom, fathom. Alright. Holds up shield. Shouldn't I go first? We both are pretty uh armored up. I think we're both good. Besides, Fair enough. My shield too. Watch when it dies. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Fair enough. Um, we'll we'll just fair enough. So 
Have you ever done a phalanx before? Uh, I failed a lot. Does no, as in like what we do, what we do, we, we okay, we hunker behind our shields, right? Uh, we hunker behind our shields and we move forward and we make like a little wall between the two of us. So that everyone else is fine. If they if something if something attacks us, then we'll take the blow. Guys, I have yes. an idea. What? We okay. stab it. I mean Don't stab that's the plan. Me. No. Okay. What's no. around the corner? I don't know. Let's find out. I, I walk around the corner and find out. Feather. Uh. Okay. Uh, it's a banana. Hey, I see fire. Inside the mountain. And I'm getting behind my shield with my sword, my my bugbear sword drawn. Jacob's gonna do the same thing, and he's gonna and, and careful moving up. Mm hmm. Are you moving stealthily or just like carefully? Stealthily. Just carefully. On my end. Okay, well, if Fathom's moving stealthily, then I'll go ahead and try and move stealthily too. Real stealth. Wait, is it still within the hour? Uh, uh. We had a short rest, which is at least an hour, so no. Yeah, fair enough. So I will reduce that plus 10 to my stealth. Yeah, I, um, that's, a. Uh, yep. <laughs> I can't seem to roll a <laughs> Okay. Thing. Yeah, amazingly. <laughs> so, uh, whilst Fathom, you don't think you've been seen, uh, Jacob, you just hear, Who goes there? Uh... It's a big snick. It's a big snick. Big snick. He's surrounded by a bunch of ben of uh, armored individuals that are just going, Stop! In the name of love. Talk to the hand! <laughs> Jacob just kind of turns towards the uh, uh, to turns towards them. He's like, Oh, we've been seen. Yes, with my eyes so big. Who are you? Well, we're travelers. You know. Oh shit, there's another one over there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. My name. <laughs> my name is Jacob Zenlo, and I'm here oh to. Oh my uh, God, he's talking to it. Uh, <laughs> well, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Our, is it all just there? like face palming again while leaning against the pillar? <laughs> Yeah, isn't that what everyone else in this place does? Is just make friends with each other and la di da. Well, that's nice. Orin <laughs> peeks out from like behind the pillar. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Hello. Would it terribly inconvenience you if you just sort of left? Yes, that would be terribly inconvenient. Okay, but what if it wasn't persuasion? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There are much better things to be guarding here. The only thing you're than than here, rather. The only thing you're guarding here is your life. That sounded vaguely threatening. Should I roll intimidation? <laughs> you sure. have a plus one to that. <laughs> Jacob's like. Plus, there's like way better temples. I've seen temples that are that'll like knock your socks off man <laughs> aren't we here to kill it tim we're supposed to be trying to kill this thing <laughs> i'm trying look i'm trying to level it into a false sense of security P play play to your characters is all like uh, i can say this Aaron's just like basically I have, going <laughs> i have the glorious responsibility of guarding this treasure and i shan't be leaving Okay, gotta kill you then, sorry! <laughs> the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Them's the rules! Oh shit, I'll kill you right back then! <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's oh, like. I can't believe we <laughs> diplomatized our way into fighting the Naga. Jacob's like, well, guess I gotta. Uh, well, uh, may your soul find peace in the afterlife, I guess. Clung, clung on shield. <laughs> All right, okay. I guess we're rolling initiative. All right. Yeah, like, I wasn't going with a, an opposed roll. This was a DC to convince it to leave, and it was very high. 
I mean, figure. what if it? I just love. I, <laughs> that's my favorite. It's like it would be terribly convenient for me to leave. It's like, what? What if it wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> but consider this not <laughs> oh Christ uh, so, uh, is anyone controlling bubbles or uh, I'm controlling bubbles I'm controlling Who's, okay they're going to move on your turns then um VV, uh, whilst uh, she's currently being introduced into the party, will move on her own initiative. Oh, shit! Okay. Fucking... I just can't believe you've uh, convinced this Medusa to help you. <laughs> it's like, we treated her with basic human decency and she's just like... Okay, uh, so... What would have shocked me more... Is if we convince the Naga. Yeah, that would have been kind of fucking crazy. You didn't roll high enough. Jesus. And it would have been fucking frustrating. <laughs> Fortunately, we didn't friendship our way through everything. Just everything vaguely sentient. You're our friend now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Do you want to join our crew? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Medusa walks out. The Nog is like, "Oh, you! What? You didn't stop him at all." No, I didn't. And she pulls out a long bow. Well, she already had it and fires at him. I'm surprised that he could recognize her. Yes, despite her being completely covered up, so that she doesn't turn anyone to stone. <clears throat> We'll just say that he can <laughs> tell by her scent or something. Yes, we'll go with that so I, so I don't have to <laughs> lose my fucking mind. Uh, she misses both times. Fathom. All right, we're doing this. Gotcha. Oh, right. Need to roll animated armor fucking thing. I'm going to take my longbow and fire it right at him. Okay. Here's a non-magical arrow straight to the Naga. I can't believe I forgot to roll its initiative. God damn it. <laughs> and... Well, it's true, the Naga could have been <clears throat> before me. No, no, it just rolled a 13. Ah, okay. So it goes right after me. Yes. Okay, so you fire your long bow and... Pierce it right in the head, and it's like, ah, oh, fuck! Yeah, that's that's what happens with arrows. Now I'm gonna choose you again. Who? I'm gonna hurt the, the Naga. I'm gonna hurt you like nobody's business as I shoot another arrow. And uh, he's he wobbles right out of the way. It's like, how about no? <laughs> how about you stop that? Nice shan good sir, annoying. no. <laughs> uh, I always feel bad for killing this guy. <laughs> We're gonna trap him. We're not gonna kill him. He's gonna <clears throat> come back to life or something, I don't know. At least that's what Fathom's understanding is, just letting you know. Uh oh shit. I'm gonna try this one. So what this um really on the fire. Chair, the Naga and his backup dancers. Yes. Yes, there's 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 you know what? There's even music going off in the background. Give me a second. <laughs> Whatever this one is. Uh cephalopod. Yes. As it um Ooh. Okay. So Fathom and I guess the not the Medusa who I'll roll for uh, roll me a dexterity saving throw as this 40 foot high 10 foot radius cylinder comes down to the point right at you okay and Jacob's little circle thing is only 10 feet right yeah <clears throat> alright oh shit dexterity saving throw let's do this at least I'm not partially turned to stone 
Oh shit, I need to get more of these. Uh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Okay, the Medusa managed to, to uh, deal with that pretty well. Uh, holy fuck. Hold on, let me add up all these dice. Please do. If it's more than 101, <laughs> let me know. That'd be crazy. Uh, 14, 18, 19. If it's more than 50, let me know. 24. Oh, heck, I'm going to use this calculatory. Plus 4, plus 4, plus 6, plus 5, plus 1, plus Thank you, five. Kevin McLeod. Thank you, Kevin McLeod. 32. 32, okay. So it's not half 32, my health. Yeah, 32 fire and radiant damage. An additional thirty-two radiant, or just no, just fire combined radiant? together for for radiance. Oh. <laughs> it burns. Nah, take that. This is this is my spell casting, Jacob. Jacob proceeds to, uh, um, so Jacob bad. looks back at Arn and says, I'll try and keep the armors distracted. You guys aim for the, uh, you, I'll try and keep the armors distracted. You guys try and aim for the Naga. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, he can reach. Oh. Yeah. I forgot about Julebrie. So Jacob proceeds to run up this way, and as he's running, he proceeds to cast a spell on himself, giving himself his 23 AC again. Joy. <laughs> and he's going to try and open this up by, and he's going to try and open up by opening this armor. <laughs> no point in your armor. As he slashes Ed's head armor. Clang as it parries your strike. He follows it up with another slash. Oh no. <laughs> you, another parry. This time your your sword falls at your feet. Oh lord. Oh lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Jacob's like, whoa, these things are way better duelists than I expected. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't hear this part of the song. Neat. Uh, anything else? Oh, wait, that's all your stuff. Yep. Vivi's turn. What she's gonna do with her crazy fucking movement. Thirty, thirty-five, forty. She can still do something. Barbarians get a lot of movement speed additions. She does her rage and does a slap. That it's. Fuck. Okay. Wow. You know that one thing that some pe some fighting games will do where they like do the whole um, jump up, front flip, and like slash through the air as they're doing it? I'm picturing that. She's nearly cleaved this thing in fucking half, and there's just horrific openings all over it. Aaron. Yes. Your turn. So, I'm gonna do this first so I don't forget about it, and Bubbles is gonna enter stealth mode. You okay? Just gonna uh, roll her stealth, right? Correct. <clears throat> as long as you're not standing out in the open... At the end of your turn, you should be fine. All right. Okay. Take a dice. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. So, uh, what you do? She's gonna do herself a sneak like that, 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 
and then over here. All right, sounds good. And then do herself. Did she need to use a movement to activate the steel stealths? Um, nah. Wait, actually, yeah, that's the hide action. Okay. Although, with the with thiefness rogue, she could do that as a bonus action. So yeah, she's gonna go ahead and move herself to there. All right, probably using the cover of her allies. Yep. Okay. And that's where she stops. Aaron, on the other hand, is that's technically behind cover. So she's gonna move to like here. In between the brazier and the pillar. All right. Yep. And you see Snakey Boy. Mm-hmm. This Snakey Boy up on his throne there. Snakey Boy is being a Snakey Boy. Snack. He's on a couch, by the way. Just a really big couch. <laughs> So, I'm gonna use my loot to play a thing. Ooh. Wall of fire. Fuck. Jesus, wall where are you putting 60 that? 60 feet long, 20 feet high, and 1 foot thick, or a ringed wall up to 20 feet in diameter, 20 feet high, and 1 foot thick. So, oh, um, yeah. in case you might not have realized where I'm doing this. I'm centering it exactly on this fucker. So just, well, not exactly like right here, so I don't get these two in the ring. So like okay. a thing like that. Oh, solid surface and range. Within its area. Oh, shit. Okay, so draw me a circle then? So like, it's something like that. Assuming that I've done this radius correctly. That's 20. That's 20. So something like that. Well, if it's centered on him, I could probably put it like well, this on, on an. Him. <laughs> That's why I'm centering it on this on this spot. <laughs> okay. I'm not about to fucking attack my enemies with fire. That would be mean. Allies, you mean? All right, sure. Allies, yeah. Anyway, that's that's where I'm putting it. Okay. Anyway, those guys need to make dexterity throws. Okay. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Damn it, I closed it. Hold on a second. I was gonna open it up and like, aha, there's his stats. <clears throat> uh, alright, so... And I mean, okay, none of the armor's fucking passed, but the Naga did. Alright, so he's doing half damage. One side of the wall selected by you when you cast the spell, the inner side. So, like... So, if none of them deals fucking five succeeded... 5d8 fire damage to each creature that ends its turn within 10 feet of that side or inside the wall. Okay, fuck. So he just did a shit ton of damage and destroyed one of the knights. <laughs> fuck! Okay. Got him. <laughs> I barely started! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're obviously going to be leaving that fucking space. Uh, let's see. Yep, oh, shit. Switching from ruler to not ruler is a hassle. Booking it. So it's say if they stay in that area, they get fucked, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so one of the animated, and the animated armors is going to try to bap you after doing that. Oops. But I doubt your AC is a 12, so it doesn't hit you and just clangs against the pillar. Yay. <clears throat> Aaron, like, sticks out her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Do not taste my animated armors! No! They are not for eating! But what if are for eating? That's no! Trying to roast us alive. <laughs> I am apparently being cooked. 
All right. Uh, Serves you right. Christ. Okay, so the Medusa hits for the minimum amount of damage of four. Joy. Rolled two ones on damage. Fathom. Okay. I'm gonna step over here. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> And I'm gonna fire at the Naga. The yeah, Naga. Day Naga. <clears throat> Let's see here. Naga. Weapon. Let's fire. Oh, actually. Oh no, my, my abilities actually deactivated. So let me call him out first as a bonus action. Is it Planar Warrior? Because it has to hit within that turn that I use it. And I fire an arrow. Probably doesn't hit. It does not. Because it ducks its head. Aha! Your arrows are... Your archery is simply not good enough. Ow! Ha <laughs> 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 Take that! It takes 19 damage. <laughs> Unless the arrow has some sort of piercing reduction. Oh, Christ. The arrow? It's also technically on uh, fire, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know, right? No, I meant, like, if he doesn't take, like, he takes half damage because of resistance or whatever. Right. Oh, wait. Uh, let's not forget about Julebrie real quick. Yes, please. Let's not. Let's remind Nace about the character he's meant to be controlling. Well, I was about to. Anyway, so Julibri comes right around the corner and sees all the shenanigans going down. Can she, is she blocked from seeing this dude? Uh, no. The, 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 the Razier isn't that fucking high up. It's decorative as shit, but she could still see it through the flames. So I'd imagine he has an amount of cover. Speaking of, does Aaron have cover from being, like, sandwiched here? Yeah. Uh, from attacks that come from either, I imagine, like, around this area or this area. Okay. If it's, like, right there, she's gonna get that. Yeah, passed. this guy, she doesn't get cover, but something else. But, like, yeah. if this guy tries to range attack her, she'll have some cover. Yes. to Melf's Minute and Meteors. Oh, shit. Okay, so he's apparently made the save and is taking a whole right, one so damage. You create purple. six tiny meteors in your space. They float in the air and orbit you for the spell duration. When you cast the spell and as a bonus action on each of your turns thereafter, you can expand one or two of the meteors sending them streaking towards a point or points you choose within 120 feet of you okay so i'm you shooting inject one in the head two meteors one mm -hmm. to land there because each creature within five feet of the the point where the meteor explodes must take a dexterity saving throw uh, a creature takes 2d6 of fire damage on a failed save. Okay. So he's basically doing that so it doesn't hit me. Yeah. Alright. You See, we're the one? opposite of and, met. And, we and, actually aim our attacks so they don't hit our allies. And here's where the second one lands. Okay. So they both need to do deck saving throws. I fucked up. Okay. They're looking pretty melted, really. Consider and that's three damage each. Considering that they also had to walk through fire. <laughs> Actually, I think the second one I would need to re-roll for that one for damage, wouldn't I? Uh, yes, go ahead. Alright. So that would have been six. six damage if they failed. Oh, the second one. Uh, the two, two second ones did. Wow, they took 
that much damage from the firewall. They took a shit ton. <laughs> Arin God. is very lethal. Apparently. She did does, she does 26 fire damage to those fuckers. Adam doesn't even come close, but then again, he's your escape artist, so if you want to escape, he's your man. Okay. Big snack turn. And not wanting to be on a couch whilst it's on fire, he decides to move. <laughs> uh, so, well, fuck this shit, I'm out! Uh, oops. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... 35. Moves oh, he forward. has some movements. Yes. Uh, okay, so he's gonna does another cast a spell. <laughs> oh. Let's see. On who? <laughs> yes. Oh. You in, yeah. oh um, 55. Hmm. I'll, I'll, uh, well, let's end it after I cast uh, the spell. Okay. For dramatic effect. For most of a dramatic effect. Okay, so casting this at 6th level. <laughs> banishment. <laughs> banishment? <laughs> banishment. <laughs> okay, so... Fathom? Jacob? <laughs> oh, no. And Aaron, uh, Yes? I'm going to need you to roll a charisma saving throw. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. You know that the other uh, two have a good charisma. Oh, no. Do they? <laughs> Unless they roll a one. Oh, no. I have a minus one to my charisma saving throw, so fuck if I roll a one. Oh, that was really close to a two. My heart skipped a beat when I saw okay. a two. So, uh, Fathom and Jacob suddenly blip out of existence. They're now, tra <laughs> They're now trapped on a harmless demi-plane. How what? long? For a minute, unless concentration is broken. Okay, time to hurt this boy. <laughs> well, see if you can hurt this boy. Next, uh, next part. <laughs> see you all then. Bye. So long. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>